Okay, we're inside the Platinum, and Jake, we're going to find some of the stuff in here if you want to kind of show us some of the different components that's in here. Sure, so in every house it's going to differ a little bit. We're in a 24 foot Grand Castle Platinum right now. Take a look under here. Here's our water heater. Um, and you'll notice, Nate, there are three valves on the water heater. There's two next to the water heater and one. It's a bypass between the two. This lets hot water out, this lets cold water in, and this will let the water flow together. So you'll see top and bottom are closed right now. This one's open. This house is windrised right now. That's the reason for that. So if you turn the faucet on right now, Nate, we're going to get a lukewarm water coming through. Um, to solve that problem, open your cold, open your hot, close the bypass. That's important because if you leave that open, you're going to get lukewarm water flowing into the system. Um, so right now it's ready to use. Uh, we can fill it up with water. Uh, you know, go camping for the weekend. I'll show you where the water heater switches up here, Nate. So Jake, before we even do that, if I'm going to winterize that, what do I want to do with the valves? I just want to do the opposite thing, do the bypass? Exactly, Andrew. So we want to have the bypass open and these closed before any antifreeze gets into the system. We talked about it outside, we don't want antifreeze in the water heater or we'll get that taste. Okay. So Nate, you can look. Uh, the water pump and water heater switch are normally by the sink somewhere. Once again, they'll differ with every unit. Um, here's the water heater switch and here's the water pump switch. So do I need to leave the water, can I leave the water pump on for the weekend if I'm going to go camping? Okay, there's two scenarios. If we're hooked up to the city water hookup outside uh, with a garden hose style hookup, then you won't need your water pump at all. Your system is pressurized with that garden hose. Um, now if you're out camping somewhere where you don't have a water hookup, you flip this on, you leave it on all weekend, you don't need to worry about flipping it off. Once your pump builds pressure, it will shut itself off and turn back on when it's needed. Now does the hot water heater do the same thing? Can I leave that on? Yes, you can. Uh, as long as you have water in the water heater, turn it on and leave it on. Uh, it's similar to your furnace, it's got a thermostat in it, so once it gets the temperature, it will stay on uh, and kick back on when you use the hot water. What's the, what's the easiest way to make sure that I have water in the hot water heater? Do I open up a faucet? What do I need to do? Um, as long as you have your cold water valve open, Hendry, uh, you'll be getting water inside the water heater. Okay, because I don't want to. I don't want to run the water t uh, the water heater without any water. That would be bad. Correct. Okay, perfect. Uh, where's the water pump in this? Uh, what does the water pump here look like? Uh, the water pump kind of snuck back in this one, hiding in the corner. Okay, and then the fresh water tank. Fresh water tank is to the right of it, underneath the fridge. Pretty common location for it in a house this size. Um, a fresh water tank. And you'll notice, Nate, if you can get in there, uh, there's two valves back there. One is going to close off the fresh water tank. Uh, and when you'd want to use that is when you go to winterize it, once you drain the tank, close that valve off for the season. Um, you'll also notice another one. It connects to this hose here. If you open that valve up and what you do is you stick this hose down in a bottle of antifreeze and then you turn your water pump on and it will cycle the antifreeze through your whole water system. And that's after closing up my hot water heater and do I have my fresh water tank open or closed? Closed at this point. Closed at this point. Okay. Yep. So where is that antifreeze then going to run to? Uh, we'll turn the water pump on and we'll turn our faucet on, we'll turn our shower on and we'll also go to flush our toilet a couple times. We want to make sure we get pink water anywhere there's water in the house. Okay, awesome. So, talking about the toilet, uh, where would I find the black water tank? Because most ice castles only have a black water tank, right? So it's one Correct. tank that collects all the water? Exactly, yep. From your shower, your sink, your toilet, it goes all into the same 30 gallon black water tank. And that goes out through the dump valve outside? Exactly. Okay, you want to show us where that is in the inside here, where the dump is, please, uh, yep. Jake? So actually I'm standing over the black water tank right now. It's built into the floor of the bathrooms. You look in here, Nate, down there, there's the dump valve for our black water tank. We talked about that outside. Um, it's easy, you connect your hose, you make sure your cap is off, and you lift that up and it will drain your tank completely. Uh, make sure the hose is level. Uh, so question I get a lot is, how do I know how full 
the Blackwater tank is. Now, what are the sizes, I mean, first? Um, normally, your Blackwater tank is 30 gallon. Uh, it's standard in an Ice Castle RV. And the um, fresh water? Fresh water is a 15 15. Gallon. So you got about a 2 to 1 there. Yep. And how yep. would I know if it's getting full? Uh, the best way to know on these, Henry, is if you take a look. Like you go to flush your toilet and you can look down. Don't drop your phone in. <laughs> and look down there, uh, usually with a flashlight, and you can get get a good idea of how full your tank is getting. It will get up to the seal. Okay. Now, if I'm at a campground, do I want to leave that valve open all the time, or do I want to keep it closed and build up water? How? Do, what's the best way to do that? Uh, if you have a permanent sewer hookup, a lot of people use these ice castles as summer cabins, lakeshore cabins. Um, and then if you have a permanent sewer hookup, leave that open all the time. Sure. Uh, just make sure you have a hose hooked up. Okay, so you can flush it out a little bit so you don't get anything that dries up in there. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Jake is our shop manager and he does a great job. Uh, and he talks to a lot of different customers. I think a lot of people that seen this video or was watching this video has probably talked to Jake if they got any questions. What's some of the most common things that you get that people kind of wonder about? Uh, probably the most common, Henry, I would say, is people call me in the springtime, especially if they just got a new castle. Uh, it was winterized when they bought it, all castles are. Um, and when you go, you're going out camping first weekend, hop in the shower, it's lukewarm water, or you're getting alternating cold and hot, and that's the, the culprit there is the valves on the water heater. So we want to open up the two valves closest to the tank and close the bypass that's the one furthest away. Exactly, and then you'll get nice and hot water, you can take a good shower. Okay, and then I know one that I get a lot is the water pump. I wasn't real sure about that one, but you can leave the water pump on if you're running out of your freshwater tank, and it'll just shut off. Yep, yeah, these are okay. nice water pumps in here. They have pressure switches in them, so once the system builds up pressure, it will shut off the water pump and uh, turn back on when you need it. Well, thanks a lot, Jake. I really appreciate it. Uh, that was really informative, and we would like to know if there's anything else that everybody out there wants us to do a tutorial on. We have Jake here. He can definitely educate myself on a lot of these things. And uh, just throw us out some comments. Go find us on Facebook. Uh, we'd really love it if you liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel so you know when these videos come out you get them first. Just go to Smoky Hills Outdoor Store on YouTube. You'll see us right there and subscribe to them. And we're looking forward to the comments. And uh, spring is around the corner so it should be a good time in an ice castle.